Bellator MMA back in Italy. Welcome back with open arms to the spectacular city of Florence. A sellout crowd, the Nelson Mandela form, watching the Bellator cage drop from the rafters. And with every seat filled, it was a night you could not afford to blink. We thought we'd have some quick fights. We thought we had some heavy favorites. It certainly played out that way, particularly in the opening fight with John Salter. John Salter, Claudio Anacchiatico, would the kickboxer have any answer for the takedown and the jujitsu of John Salter? The answer was an emphatic no, easy double leg, straight to full mount and then ground and pound. Jason Herzog did everything he could to let Claudio the kickboxer get back into this fight. And he had no answer for the jujitsu, no answer for the aggression of John Salter over in the first round. Fifth straight win for John Salter, putting his name right near the top of the list now, contending for that middleweight world title. Felipe Lins was hoping to get his name on the list at 205, and for a round and a half, Jimmy, he looked like he was on his way. It's a great example how in MMA, everything can go right until it goes wrong. Felipe Lins landing power punches in the first two rounds, devastating with hooks, catching Clever Silva over and over again. Silva never founding, finding his range until this shot, and then bang against the fence. Silva never letting the stun Felipe Lins off the hook. Look at this, he crumpled to his knees and that is all she wrote for clever silva to get the upset against felipe lins just the second loss in the career of felipe lins he goes back to the drawing board at 205 and the former jungle fight light heavyweight champion scores the upset from there and ruth on seven days notice became the first member of the fab five to step into the bellator cage twice wasn't getting paid by the hour. He saw his teammate John Salter win a fight in a minute 40 and said, hey, I can beat that. And he did it the exact same way. Easy double leg takedown for the three-time national champion. Pass to guard, full mount, ground pound, and look at the right hands. That is why his second fight ends again in TKO. He has heavy, heavy hands. He beat the clock and he beat Emmanuel Colombi in just 93 seconds. Ed Ruth goes to 2-0. Now, here was the drama. Goichi Yamauchi had never been stopped. He really had never been in danger. Well, there's always a first time. And it's at 155 pounds. Mercea grazing him with this right hand. And look at the ground and pound. He goes out for a second. Great non-call by Jason Herzog, letting the fight continue from there. The jiu-jitsu of Goichi Yamauchi may have been automatic, but he has a lot of technique, and it showed a desperation triangle at the end. He locks it up, can't even pull the arm across, but it doesn't matter. He gets the tap in the first round. He faces a major test he wasn't expected to face, and Goichi Yamauchi scores a spectacular come from behind. Round one submission victory. Very little compares to Alessio Saccaro walking out in front of a sold-out crowd in Italy, and he wasted no time either. He says, the crowd energizes me. Everyone who fights me is outnumbered in Italy, and it looked like an army hit Joey Beltran with the right hand right here. He is on rubber legs, and Saccaro never lets him off the hook. A vicious attack, two fights in Bellator, two TKO victories. This one coming just 80 seconds into round number one. The crowd exploded. Legionarius successful in his return home to Italy. For the latest news and information, log on to Bellator.